What's up guys, Luke here with another video and um, today we're going to be doing a reaction to the Call of Duty Call of Duty, sorry there's two things that are going on at the moment and it's a big debate over Call of Duty and Battlefield 1 which is the trailer that we're going to watch now because personally I'm kind of not both but I'd rather be on the Battlefield side because Battlefield is life and it's like kind of real but nah so this is like the... Uh, this is like before everything happened, before Battlefield 2, before Battlefield 3, before futuristic stuff came in. This was like ages ago, basically. And that's the thing that people didn't want in Call of Duty 3, yeah, just Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. They didn't want it to be so futuristic, they wanted it to go like back in time so we can play the like cold stuff like that. So that's what basically Battlefield have 1 have done, so let's watch it. Play it first on Xbox One with EA Access. Well, there you go. That's a Battlefield One trailer reaction. Holy damn, this game was good. Let's see this from the very beginning. I'll pause it any time that I'll see something good. Basically, Nash. Yeah, I'll see. Don't cross boat. Okay, first thing I've seen there was, pause it, was that mace, and we're going to be using, I think, maybe it's going to be a melee weapon in the game, and it's going to be a mace that we're probably going to be using in either single player or, or game engine footage, so this is real, and um, that's probably where some of the, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, um, but that mace is probably going to be used in like, like either single player because they don't they might use it in um multiplayer i think they probably will use it in multiplayer as well i don't know but yeah and yeah if you didn't see this one that is the the horse sword so we're gonna be using swords ish so yeah also my hair is weird weird um and anyway um so yeah we're gonna be probably using horses in this and swords, I guess, because I guess this is way old. And, um, yeah, basically. Um, continuing! And from what we've seen there... Where is it? I don't want to... Eh, please. There, um, that's actual... Because from what I see in that... Oh, God, I'm going to move my camera. Um, from what I see there, that is actual, like... Like a game footage from the actual first per the third person perspective, and that actually looks very much like it. So that should look good. This game because the way it looks, I, I just can't wait for this game. It honestly looks awesome. And it looks like we're gonna get probably different type of planes, and then we're gonna get planes that smashes into the tower the original Call of Duty things do so if so, things smash then it will crumble the building I'm not sure if that's going to be just a graphics thing like in the cutscene or something like that it probably will be knowing that and yeah I guess so uh, Come on, man! Um, and there's the tanks that we're going to be using and from what that looks we're going to be using muskets in this game which is going to be making it very fun because everyone loves the muskets which is normally a two or one shot kill probably so what actually is that a musket? No, it's because it's got the staple thing in the ground so you go like that and then it keeps the thing up and then 
it's definitely not a sniper, I know that for free. Uh, there's a tank, basically, I guess it's going to be used in some of missions and all that. Yeah. From what we see there, that's the gun and that's the first person view, so we might be getting a third person and uh, first person view of our character, probably. Not sure. Um, but I noticed something, when is it? It's And we get to put on gas masks, because this is what this is. Uh, so we're going to be putting gas masks, because whenever you see the smoke behind that, you're going to be putting the gas mask on so you don't get hurt by that gas. And then, yeah, you're basically going to be switching between gas masks. It's basically Metro 2033, um, where you got, like, when you ever got near, like, smoke and all that, and you used to put a mask on, and then you could basically block yourself from the thing, yeah. There's many other things. That's good. Oh, 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 oh. Like it's going to be a way. I guess it's going to be a cutscene in the game because I don't think half of these are actually going to be like actual things that you're going to see in the game. Probably like tanks going over people. I don't think you're probably going to say that. Only if there's like special cutscenes, which is going to be very weird if there is. There's trains. There's planes with open doors. Uh, yeah, some of these are just... So half of these are just going to be campaign missions and all that, so that's why you've got some cutscenes like that guy in the plane like flying, because that's cutscene from the single player, not the multiplayer. And that is a giant... I can't remember what the name is. It's a giant... Barnum... Hamburg? The Hamburg. Hamburg. I don't know. It's one of them giant... Air balloons. If I get roasted in the comments for that, I'm sorry because I tried to remember what that name was of that actual game. So yeah, that's the one. Play it first on Xbox. One yeah, it's gonna be access. And then it's gonna be on Xbox One, so it probably will come to PS4. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Did it Battlefield ever come to PS4? Hmm, maybe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe down below for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. And also, before I go, I noticed the t shirt is exactly the same as the background. Almost. Hmm. Weird. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye. Uh, oh, God. Uh, bye, bruh.